Welcome to the inaugural Sleepy Cast. Yeah. Voice to Voice episode 33. Woo! What's up? We've been doing this like 50 weeks. We sleepy. We're it, bad. It's early. Well, Michael's not sleepy. No, I'm. You, you already I'm, ran your yeah, quarter I, marathon. Four miles. It's probably a quarter marathon. I'm going to assume I know what, what like a marathon is. miles. Yeah. yeah. One seventh of a marathon. You're doing, doing good. good marathon. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, no, so I'm back. This is Nick. He's alive. He wasn't here last week because of... Cuts? It was my birthday. We had to make cuts. It's his birthday. No. Woo! I don't remember it's what week. I was doing, but... It's week. I worked. Yeah, I worked. Your girlfriend. And um, then I, uh... Where did we end up going, anyway? Well... I think we had pasta. It was a good night. Pasta's not bad. It was a good day. Pasta's a good thing to finish your birthday on. I tried something new. I kind of regretted it, but I tried it. And I think that's what really nope. is the spirit of birthdays. Mm-hmm. Is regret and trying new things. Yes. The first half. <laughs> I forgot My about the jet engine. to not like the second half. If you look past the jet engine, it's not there. You can just not hear it. <laughs> we, uh, we have a dormant um, uh, plane hanger in our... Uh, Little, Connor's little space. Yeah, in this room right here, <laughs> there is a gen engine known as the PlayStation 4 OG. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't got shit on the slim. <laughs> yes, it does. It doesn't look like shit. Oh. Why fair. is the slim so rounded and everything? It's weirdly rounded, yeah. Why could no, they just I want keep my, with the jagged I edges? I want my console to look like a fucking box. <laughs> <laughs> I like boxes. Boxes are hot. You know what boxes fit inside of? Boxes. Hmm. More boxes. Makes it easier to pack up. You can't put a vagina in a vagina. Nobody's tried. Somebody's tried. The people have tried. No, no, I'm pretty sure that you can put like uh, one of those. God, what are they like? I'm like try- a flashlight. The flashlight. I was yeah. thinking like auto blow. <laughs> auto blow. <laughs> and you can put an auto blow inside a vagina. You come, you pull out, and she's just got this weird grin on her face. <laughs> what? Tricked ya! <laughs> Second oh vagina! <laughs> Pulled the flashlight out of her. <laughs> you were fucking me, you were fucking a mold of your mom the entire time! That's disgusting. This flashlight's a man's asshole. You're gay! <laughs> Neither of you should have sex. <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> Oh, you know who is getting sex, though? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. On Mars. Round Mars. Just... I hate... I hate that the Round Earth Society... I mean, Flat Earth Society uh, thinks that Earth is flat, (laughs) but Mars is round. No, 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 Mars is confirmed to be round. I'm not mad that they think Mars is round, like, that they don't think it's flat. I'm mad that they agree Mars is a spherical planet that exists while Earth is a flat plane. I that pisses me off. What really needs to annoy you is their reason they believe that round is Mars. So yeah, Elon Musk, observed. just being a funny dude, uh, tweets out to the... Or no, actually, it wasn't even an at. He just tweets, why is there no flat Mars society? Flat Earth society, not missing a beat, responds, Hi, Elon. Thanks for the question. Unlike the Earth, Mars has been observed to be round. We hope you have a fantastic day. Because Earth's never been observed to be round. That's accurate. No one has ever seen a round Earth. You know what we need to do? We need to put a giant mirror in orbit so that people can look at it in a telescope and then we can say... But then they'll just think that's fake, like the ISS. That's all on a sound screen. Or they'll say it's like a fisheye... A uh, mirror that distorts the image to look round. <laughs> no, man. Like, you see that? It's a circle. That means it's flat. <laughs> it's like that two-day plane. We're sitting on the flat part right now, on that <laughs> 2D plane. Uh-huh. We can draw spheres in the sky above us. What about when a comet hits one edge and we start flip? <laughs> no, no, no. Everything up. stays the same because it's all relative to down. What? Yeah, what would happen if flat... Earth, what do they think happens if Earth gets flipped? Yeah. I don't what know. do they think gravity comes from? It's weird. Side note, I actually... Do they think do we orbit the, the sun? Yeah. 
Okay. No, they know that. They yeah. know we orbit. Yeah, they would. And they know the moon orbits us. We spin like a frisbee around the sun. <laughs> it's pretty dope. It's kind of cool. It's like a disc golf kind of situation. So shouldn't the... Shouldn't sunrise and sundown be the same at all times? Yeah, it should that... always be day. Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. That's uh, I love that picture of the moon during the solar eclipse where it just, just a has a line yeah, across it. DeGrasse Tyson posted that. It was like the, the lunar eclipse flat earthers have never seen, and it's just a moon with a solid line shadow on the halfway of it. It felt weird for you to refer to him as DeGrasse Tyson. His no. name is horrible. Just say Neil. Just add Neil. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil Tyson. Neil Tyson chicken nuggets. Neil no, Tyson. Neil chicken tenders. <laughs> mm. Is it racist if he's black? Is Tyson a racist brand? Have we been eating racist food? It's good. We have been. We have Aunt Jemima. It's also white oh, meat yeah. chicken. I haven't been eating that Aunt Jemima, though. That's, that's him. Mm. I... I, Connor Davis, a white male with privilege, recognize no race. I, I have the privilege to do that. <laughs> yes, I do. I, 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 I acknowledge that there are others, I just don't recognize them. Oh man, now it's even worse. It's like you walk up to someone, are you white? And they're just going to fend it and walk away. And it's, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm colorblind. I just don't know. Why you gotta go there? Filling out like a voter registration. What's your ethnicity? Fill in. I don't see color. That's my ethnicity? Man, I don't want to be whatever machine has to read that shit. <laughs> it's not fair. I don't really want to be much of any machine. No, you do. Well, there was that Google AI that built a better AI. Oh yeah, that would be... That's really recent. That's kind of scary. Ooh, oh, or the uh, the Alexa fish, the guy oh. who wired up his yeah. Alexa to the wall-mounted bass. So every time <laughs> she talks, it's like. <laughs> okay, it's pretty great. Well, unrelated news. I saw something last night about how fully functioning sex robots are going to be on sale just before Christmas. Woo! Just in time for the holidays. Yeah, but how much? Yeah. Fifteen grand is my guess. Okay, I, I think it's gonna be more. But I, so like one of the things they were talking about car. is that you can disassemble them to like you can disassemble their genitals to clean. I hope so. Well, yeah, I mean they're, they're dishwasher friendly, right? Yeah, or you can just wash it in your sink. Why would you sink? Just like throw the vagina in the sink and call it done. <laughs> Let it soak. Yeah. <laughs> Do not get like almost. Do not open soak vaginas. <laughs> hey, I was right. What? 20, 15, 15 grand. 15 grand. Woo! Week. 15,000 so. pounds also, which is only like 13 grand. No. Save money. Yep. Doesn't it work in that direction? Pounds are worth more than dollars. So fifteen hundred would be like sixteen hundred money. Eighteen, nineteen hundred. Damn! Fuck you, Britain. Yo, why did they raise the price in Britain? Pound to dollar. Which need... country was it that was looking to ban sex bots? The stupid ones. I, I don't know actually. Holy crap! Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars. Is yeah. that five thousand dollars? Because you actually have to buy it a human's plane ticket. Uh. <laughs> So that's, that's this is me the... and this is my mail order bride. Uh, they're go <laughs> they're going to distinguish tickets from now on as human tickets, but there's no secondary ticket to buy. It's like uh, you can do you want priority? Like, uh, do you want to be seated away from sex robots? <laughs> is this a sex robot class? No, it's uh, you can buy tickets it's for just pets a cargo for like one hundred and twenty dollars or whatever. You can buy tickets for your robot companions as well. You can't put it in the cargo hold. No, yeah, that's in Because if I've learned anything from movies like Passenger 57, <laughs> you can definitely get in there during the flight and just fuck them. If I've learned anything from Always Sunny, you can definitely get down there and get some more beers. <laughs> that was a good idea, though. You just put beers in your, uh, like, luggage. You go down and you get blasted. What could go wrong? Uh, and you do that from, like, a New York to... Uh, um, like Kyoto flight? Yeah, say something like that's an gonna be great. Flight. Yeah, that's gonna go well. 
you see the plane, I think it was a Delta flight, had to get grounded mid-flight because the bathroom stopped working and everyone couldn't hold it anymore. So they had to ground, let everyone out to piss, then come back on the plane, then depart again. What a mess. No, that was, it was the opposite of that, actually. How long was remaining on the flight when that happened? Like, I didn't actually pay much attention to that. Because, like, that's, that's gotta weak. be, like, an hour, two-hour process right there. Yeah, it's I mean, to, to get an airport that's willing to, there's no way that just happened to be along the path. No. So you know they had to go out of their freaking way. It takes way. a long-ass time to unload people. Yeah. And then reload them. Yeah, no, exactly. And you also have to... Un then they have to unload after they've been unloaded. Then you have to leave, which means you have <laughs> to go... Don't make piss jokes. you got to find a little, like, window in their traffic schedule where a plane can just happen to take off off their runway. And you also have to find a window in the traffic schedule where a plane can just so happen to land. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it was definitely probably like and an the, hour or two hour delay. And that probably cost a I'm shit ton of money. Half three. The money, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot of shit going on. I just, I feel like that's the problem with capitalism right there. What do you mean problem? If, if we were all, you know, more socialist inclined, they all would have seen for the greater good of just holding it in for an hour instead of being a bunch of wimps. Or you know they were just could've... pissing themselves. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Just a plane full of piss. I mean, I'm sure that they sell like Gatorade bottles or something on the plane. Just buy one of those and fill it up. Or make uh, a uh, a no shit policy. Everyone can pee in the no bathroom. No shit policy. But nobody's allowed to shit. <laughs> There's no shit. All we're not taking anyone's shit here. If you shit, you get thrown off the Pack plane. Pack up your shit and get the fuck out. <laughs> and if you shit, you have to take one of those vomit bags. Scoop it up and hold it in your lap for the rest of the flight. You have to live with your shit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll you, stop you know people some from of shitting. The, the recent vomit bags don't actually like close all that easily. Good. You, if you use the mouth respirator, you can just pee into that. Oh no, no, no! I was about to say it doesn't matter what the stench is, so long as you use the respirators. Actually, yeah, you're all good. You just breathe that. Yeah, everyone just like pick. Empty one of the aisles, make that your shit corner, yeah. and then everybody just use the oxygen masks. We should be pilots. We had this shit figured out. <laughs> I don't think that we should be pilots. <laughs> that's not a pilot thing. That's more of a steward thing. Okay, yeah. we should be stewardesses. We could be stewardesses. Oh, yeah, no, I could be sexualized. Fucking, we knocked that out of the park. I'd be sexualized as fuck. I look we just molest yes. Michael. Oh, Doing, like, the little demonstration at the beginning of the flight, and there's just two guys rubbing up on you. <laughs> but remember, if there's not two men on either side of you, you're not doing it, right? <laughs> it's not gay if it's in a three-way. <laughs> With me in the middle or some leeway. <laughs> we don't recognize Michael's race and or gender, which means you can do anything to him sexually and not be a bad person. You could even nuke him sexually. <laughs> what? There's Is a that, way. like... How does that work? Kim Jong Un will figure it out. Is that a cream pie bukake thing? Is where we just film the fuck up and he dies? No, I'm thinking. No, it's, it's like more you, like a. You ever see that like image of like the guy's got like that really, really, really big like balloon full of cum? Yeah. And then like you hold, I watch these like you things. get on, like a very what? tall ladder. Wait a second! Wait a second! It. What? It's talking about like that. You can't shoot me. A balloon me. full of cum. You can't shoot me. If you shoot me, you might hit the cum, and then that'd be gay. You know the uh, the water balloon challenge thing where it like went over your face. Fill that with cum. That was a condom challenge. Yeah. 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 Condoms. The condom challenge. Fill it with cum. Have Drop you been it using condoms as water balloons? <laughs> Have you been using water balloons as condoms? Nick. They're interchangeable, man. No. <laughs> you never know. Wrong latex. It looks so weird. Like, because water balloons start normal, and then they're just, like, flat and baggy. So it'd be the most unappealing thing to see someone, like, walk out of the bathroom with just this, like, well, paddle <laughs> coming off of their dick. <laughs> <laughs> it helps you swim through the flow. <laughs> Uh, uh, no more, no more sex from you guys. It's this podcast is sex free starting right now. No, but so like you get like a like something filled with cum, you go yeah. really sex out, free, and then you just drop related. it from a high altitude. How is cum not sex free? Flats everywhere, and that's a cum nuke. 
I was thinking like crimes of passion, but uh, yeah. No, it's when you drop uh, something that's filled with cum from very high up and it just splats everywhere. What would be the best? Seven stories. I, I was thinking like straight up like uh, New York skyscraper, like 50 stories. By the time it drops, it could actually kill someone. It and it, it should also be one of those like uh, balloon animal balloons that you filled up. So it's just very. It's just a oh super... look, a dog! <laughs> oh. Oh man, carrying that. It's got limbs. They're just like. <laughs> when you're at Applebee's and the balloon artist has like this kind of bulbous, jiggly dog thing going on, and you're just like... Are there balloon artists at Applebee's? <laughs> there used to be. Totally. What? Yeah. I don't know if it was Applebee's, but, like, some Applebee's, Chili's, TGI Friday, one of them had straight up, like, balloon artists. That's why I didn't like going to that place, whichever one it was. Because that was, like, more interaction with humans than I wanted at dinner. Nick, you might just have hallucinated balloon people. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't imagine there would in any in any situation other than like a fourth of July setting that there could possibly be a balloon artist at a family restaurant. You've never been to a restaurant that just had like a resident no. balloon artist? <laughs> oh man, I've been to multiple. No This is our resident balloon artist. Yes. It's gonna be something like Janet. Nah, it was always like a dude Harold? who like was probably a clown in a past life or like two years and, and ago. And now he's a server and they found My out he can do... My past three lives have been clowns. I changed it up this time. I finally went balloon artist in Applebee's. Just a clown without makeup. I have medical insurance. <laughs> Applebee's doesn't have insurance. For the balloon artists, they do. That's like top tier Applebee's hierarchy. Like if you go to Applebee's, you're going to Applebee's. For There's the like yeah, the dish arts. the dishwashers, the bussers, the cooks, the servers, the manager, manager the and CEO, then and the balloon artist. Well, balloon artist, then CEO, who is a higher balloon artist. The no, CEO's and, balloon artist. Yeah. Every couple of years, Applebee's has, like, the Grand Arena battles where balloon artists come to challenge each other for the standing at the best glug, Applebee's. Glug, glug, glug. You have to prepare, like, a couple weeks in advance to be able to fill your balloon. It's a lot of, a lot of prep. Oh, time. there's Unless a lot you, of prep. like, don't have a refractory period. No, even yeah, then. Yeah, if you just, like, or once you, you start, it doesn't stop, it's just, then you're good. You can also oh, just man. crowdsource. It's like Jerry, who has 18 <laughs> balloon animals. Because he just kept going. There are no winners. <laughs> it's just like there's a guy who shows up, holds up his hand, people in the audience, give me your cum. <laughs> Guys just start standing up, fucking beating it. They've got the balloons ready. Chanting, Jerry, 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 Jerry. <laughs> oh, man. How's that uh, sex free podcast going, Connor? It's horrible. I hate you guys. Thank We're moving you. on to Hollywood. Where there's no sex ever and nothing wrong. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so uh, this was... I'm just going to jump right into it. Not even fucking segue. Because okay. it's goddamn sex shit. I'm moving from it hard. Okay. Um, it's soft. It's, moving it. from it soft and flaccid. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Real flaccid. Um, pre, pretty flaccid. Um, so... I was talking to Nick about this. There were there was an article speaking of like a maybe baby driver two. Maybe baby. Maybe baby two with Edgar Wright, uh, who would still write it. Mm -hmm. Which pissed me the fuck off. That for one. Because yeah. Like, some of my favorite movies are the types of movies that should never get a sequel. They're open close. I don't know where... They, they're, wh what would they follow up with? You know, exactly. you, you can... There is a story if, after. It's not a movie. It's not a no, movie. No, no. If it was just using the branding of Baby Driver, but not, like, continuing the story... Spiritual sequel? I yeah. don't even want that. Like, no, on this, I want nothing else. It was open and shut. I'm very happy with where it closed. And the most I want to hear about afterwards is maybe in, like, a, uh, you know, home release featurette where he talks about, like, well, what do you think happens to them at the end? And he's like, well, I think that blah 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 Yeah. That's all I care about. That, I don't even want that. Everybody's dead except for the main character. And it went well. And that worked out. He's out of prison. He's all good. Everyone's happy. He got his lady. And movie. 
He's got his lady, he's got his music, what more can you want in life? It's, it's like such a... Cocaine. Not quintessentially Hollywood ending, but it's just a very, you know, happy, good times, joyful ending. Like, there, there's nothing more we needed. Yeah, but a white guy went to jail. You can't have that. So, it's like, it's different. Yeah. The sequel actually retcons that. <laughs> the jail sequence was all a dream. <laughs> Wakes up in the middle of a crime. That's right. I'm white. Keeps committing crime. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's like he has this entire dream sequence and then he wakes up and he's just like in the middle of another crime daydreaming as the lookout. Oh. They're saying they're drive, drive, drive. Oh, you guys are not going to believe what I just fu- Dude! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Drive! And he's like, oh, you guys. But yeah, no, I uh, don't want. Do not want. So... What I was I was uh, thinking about this actually the other day is how much obviously there are a whole lot of different ways that Marvel has just changed the modern day industry mm-hmm. of just the movie theater and what goes in it and I was thinking like at the end of every movie I never hear like I from you guys maybe I'll hear oh man that was a good movie and oh I really enjoyed that whatnot. But from other people, it's always going to be like, they stepped out of Baby Driver, and the expectation is going to be, when does the next one come out? Oof. The expectation for any movie now has just become, alright, so when do I get more of this? When's the sequel? Like, yeah, It doesn't matter good. what it is. No, that makes perfect sense, because, like, that's all it is nowadays. That's all it is. I, even, I can even guarantee like, you. Even, new releases are just re-releases now. When uh, Jumanji comes out, mm-hmm. it's going to be, oh man, this was great. Give us a sequel. We Give want another of this. The Thura remake. Oh no. I don't know if I want a remake, man. I don't want the Seize the Thura. Is it I saw what? that so much on Cartoon Network that it was, okay. always, yeah, no, it was, it was on. always on. For sure. But there there was, were a handful of movies that were just always on. Monster got House was Josh one of them. H- Hutcherson. Yeah. It's got fucking Bella. Wait. Bella... From Twilight. Oh. What? Kirsten Stewart? Yeah. Did it? She was a sister. Shit. Oh, the older sister, right? Yeah. Okay, not the main girl. No. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't Not the sister sister. No, she was actually, like, I, I really enjoyed her in it. She was a good bitch. She does good stuff. She was a good People bitch. People hate her. People I don't know why. Really I, I enjoy her. her. It's people who haven't seen, uh, oh god, what was it, with, um, was it Eisenberg? American American Ultra? Ultra? Yeah. She was good in that, too. Never saw that. Ah, you don't need to. It's not like a must-see, but it was definitely a, that was enjoyable. Yeah. And now people are talking about a sequel to that. Really? It's it's the constant just, when do we get another? Yeah, it's gross. I don't want it. It's disgusting. It's the worst thing ever. That's... I mean, you've got people like on Name Drop, um, Hobbit, mm. who doesn't want a direct sequel, but wants another Inception movie. Like, hardcore. She wants a pre-Inception focused on, like, Dom's wife and, uh, crew then. Comic. I, yeah. like, yeah, no, if, if there was a, like, secondary media for a, a visual novel or, like, a comic series or something, I could get behind that. Should it be another movie? Fuck no. Yeah, I'm more willing to accept these kinds of things like sequels and stuff if it's another media i don't know what it is about that but that just has more integrity different um and it has a different design space and i'm interested in that i have no interest in seeing like film sequels to a whole bunch of this kind of shit yeah the only thing i'd see them doing a film sequel would be like just, again, another spiritual thing, but not even, like, anything relating to what happened in the first Inception. Just another entirely different crew doing their own thing. Well, that's the alternative, is I could also see, like, uh, Hulu Netflix getting some sort of Inception series. Where it's just that premise, that world, mm-hmm. a different crew going through stuff. And it's We'd, just a one-hour episode. And it would be like, yeah, one-hour episode a week, and a story arc would take three or four episodes, probably. I, I still don't know where I stand on uh, TV shows as sequels slash reboots of films. I don't like them. Like Scream, uh, Bates Motel, which Bates Motel was actually pretty good quality. Yeah, it didn't do it poorly. I think it should have been like 
a season or half a season shorter, but yeah. Outside of that, pretty okay. Um, How do you feel about Watchmen? I don't think I can. That's just a straight up comic adaptation. It has it's going to have nothing to do with the movie. I was about to say, what do you have to? What are your thoughts on like comic adaptations that get TV shows? Those I don't mind, and I think it's usually more appropriate that they belong in a TV show than in a movie. Um, it's just again, it's better space for the writer to be able to do more with it. Yeah, um, I mean, I still after movies like I hate to say it, Avatar, mm-hmm. uh, movies like Oh God, dude, Blade we, Runner twenty forty nine, mm-hmm. or um, you want to talk about things like, like unnecessary Fox sequels? No, I'm talking about crazy long movies. Yeah, you know, like three hour, sometimes plus movies that are still being made, and Blade Runner did all right. It didn't flop, like hard flop. It, yeah, it, it, it didn't, didn't do just nearly okay. what it needed to do. No, it needed to do way better. It deserved way better. But I, they're still being made, although they are not doing as well in theaters today because people don't want to sit in a theater for three hours because people are weak. They want to sit in the theater for two hours at a time. Well, I mean, some Marvel <laughs> movies run to like one like, seventeen. Yeah, some are crazy short. There's been like a one sixty, I think. I think that yeah, there was a one sixty. But the um, entire premise of it is basically the movie's going to run, and then if you are needing to go get your popcorn, well, you're going to go get your fucking popcorn, and we don't want people out of the theater for that. People got to go pee if about two hours of drinking soda. Actually, this is a relevant example to this. People, uh, so Coco, the new Pixar yep. animation film, starts with a 22-minute uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure short film. Uh, normally, Disney animation and Pixar films start with like a four to six you minute, say 20 twenty-two minute, minute short. Um, it's a full like is Disney this like Channel the special episode length. To, Jesus is Christ. the prequel to fucking the Frozen Two or something? No, it, it's just a holiday short where Olaf is trying to find a tradition because they haven't had a Christmas in so long. They don't know what their family tradition is. There's like there's, three or four songs. There's no such fucking thing as family tradition in that point. It's a, uh, it's a whole thing, but anyway, uh, starting December eighth, uh, it will no longer be being shown because of such negative backlash of over having. Why no- not December fucking now? Yeah, they said we're gonna give you a week, and I think it's because for the people who maybe did want to see it, it's like, hey, you got one week if you want to see it with the short. Actually, this is released on December eighth. Uh, so... Yeah, yeah starting, we got it. Starting, starting when you're hearing this, it's gone. Yep. So uh, you, you, you locked out. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, so that's basically what they're doing there. And uh, my sister works in an AMC, and she had multiple people come out. I know, she should be at Harkins, but that's whatever. Yeah, no, uh, Multiple people have come to her, like, demanding a refund... Because they were like, this isn't the movie I paid to see because they thought they were watching a full-length Frozen film. Right. Uh, About, you know, 15, 18 minutes into it, you're like, okay, what the fuck? So they walk out and they're like, this is ridiculous. I didn't pay to see this. And they have to explain over and over, no, this is is just the short. And they're like, well, a bunch of people have just said, I don't even want to see Coco at this point. I'm done. Like, they were just like, it's the principle. I will not watch this. I can respect that. And they just left. Um, and, you know, a bunch of people would come out confused, like, hey, I, your sign says Coco, but there's Frozen playing in this theater. And it's like, no, just sit for another 18 minutes. It'll be done soon. Uh, sit for another 18 <laughs> minutes. It'll be done soon. Would you like to buy some more popcorn while you wait? <laughs> the it's shitty one thing. What is that? That's about one-fifth almost of the length of Coco that you have to sit through before you can watch Coco. That's it's hard. So, you know, talking about really long movies and people not, like, people have such low tolerance that they won't sit through that. And it wasn't even... I don't want to sit through that. No, it's understandable. It wasn't even, like, necessarily bad. Um, It just... My problem is it had the weakest songs, period. Like, one song was good. And the rest of them just should not have been, and it should have probably been 12 minutes. But, uh... That's... 
That's pretty fucking long still. That's pretty long, but if you want to fit two songs, you're going to get about 12 minutes. So, where I was going with the long movies thing is, yeah. one, there's less tolerance for them in theaters today. Absolutely. But they're still being made. Mm-hmm. Um, and you say that, like, a, not a web series, but, like, a limited or just, like, Many TV show, like, miniseries, Six apps, you think is apps. the uh, best way for people to be able to accurately... Or, like, um, what's another term for... Like, most efficiently, most like effectively... Most, yeah, most effectively adapt, uh, like, comic or book. Yeah. And I disagree. I think two, three-hour-long movies, part one, part two, you can get Way of Kings. I just hate the part one, part two thing. No, it's disgusting. But people aren't going to sit down for six hours. No. No, they won't. But I just... Uh, that has been, like... The bane of movies for me for the longest time was when we were on this huge hard-on for part one, part two, and even Avengers kind of feels like... I mean, that's what they're doing. That's, that's, that's Infinity what it, it, War to Infinity Gauntlet or, you know... What's, it was, yeah, if it, it, and that's what it was. It was part one, part two, and then people were like, hey, that's fucking stupid, we don't want the same way. It was such a backlash that they hard-changed the name. Still part one, part two, but it's Effectively, different names now. But different names. And... I, I'm so glad the backlash was so rough because and I, I know could people not are probably stand thinking, the part one, part two thing. People are like, well, isn't that just a sequel? No. A sequel is its own entire encapsulated story. It's not a, hey, we're going to pause, and if you want to see how this wraps, you're going to have yeah. to wait. Yeah. It's very different than a sequel, and I hate it. I hated like, Mocking the Hobbits 1, 2. Yeah. were sequel. Like, the Hobbit movies were all sequels, whereas... Hunger Games, uh, yeah, yeah. Mocking Jay Part One, Part Two, Harry yeah. Potter, uh, Seven Pop Part One, Part Two, Twilight Part One, Part Two. Yeah, it's Terrible. disgusting. I, I have done this so poorly. No reason. Yeah. I have one question for you, Connor. Yeah, what's up? Words of Radiance Part or yeah, three Words parts. of Radiance three, three movies, parts. three movies. Yep, three hours each, nine hours. Where do they end? How do you mean? Oh, uh, what, at like... The, at the part, at, at the oh, okay. Um, shit. Oh, wait, no. Way of Kings was act, four act, wasn't it? Yeah, there were four acts in Way of Kings. No, way of, if, 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 I, I, if, if it goes on to words, to two. then I'm redacting Way of Kings. They're both going to be a three-part. We can't That's, have two, then three. See, I would want film budget, TV means for each act... No, so what I'm what I'm saying is um, not that these are all huge theatrical releases. It's that it's going to be like a, an HBO sponsored movie mm-hmm. that's going to run on their network. I mean, if and it's also going to have a limited theater run. Freaking, I would love just hour and a half long. Well, Alamo Drafthouse shows off like Game of Thrones and Walking Dead there. Right. So I would just say like fucking. You can syndicate it in, or you can distribute it in. Uh, well, so long as you don't pay for tickets to Exhibited, it. Exhibited, that's the word. Yeah. yeah, so long as you don't pay for tickets and you're paying for a meal, they're mm-hmm. fine. I think it's you can exhibit it pretty easily. I just, I don't know. I like the idea of the option to go long form and this, like, I don't have to have this wrapped in two and a half hours. Even if you get multiple films to do it. Because I can't see Way of Kings going in, like, two movies or three movies. It needs to be, like, that. there's a lot in there, because if Way you of Kings could be three movies. I think you could like, yeah, no, no, accurately I, do it in three I, movies. You, because I was going to say, you need, like, six hours to do it, and you could do that with two movies. It just, where the movies would end would be awkward. It'd be better off done as a TV show. It would be like going from The Hobbit 2 to The Hobbit 3. But because you've got long the problem gaps. When they, but the problem when they turn stuff into TV shows is that the actual pacing of a book oh, does not checked. translate to a TV show, so they have to put in a shit ton of filler content while still managing to get the important stuff through, because if they focus only on the important plot points of the book, the TV shows can't be jagged as shit. No, that's why oh, I yeah. want, like, film... I don't want filler as... I don't no, want filler. I'm saying, like, I, I guess instead of a TV series, uh, like a film mini series. So it's a, you know, a feature length, like 90 minute, you know, for example, Way of Kings, you'd have four 90 minute films 
Right. Uh, but they wouldn't be films in that sense. They wouldn't be like the full two hour. They would kind of lead into each other a little more smoothly than if they were sequels. But it would be, you know, like four parts and you watch it as a series. And I think when you approach it, even as a four part series rather than a three uh, movies, I feel like things just line up better. The way people think when they go into making them changes dramatically whether they think it's going to be in theater versus whether they think it's going to be on Hulu. Okay, I guess. Because if it's on Hulu, they're committed to watching it after the first episode. That's not true. The first episode has to be a grab, otherwise they may not yeah. commit. No, if you've got to like do the first episode, but then after that first episode is done, they're pretty... Wait, Kings would be a grab, though. Yeah, like, be that fucking introductory sequence would be great. Mm. And then after that, you've got their attention, so now you don't have to try so hard to keep it, and you just start doing the little subtleties that the, it was on in there. We're just gonna ignore the prologue, though, right? Mm, probably. Or weave it in some other way. Because it, the... it still, like, hasn't even been referenced, except for once afterwards, in words. It's where they're all fighting in the desert against all the monsters. Oh, yeah, and... that... That, that thing it, that's crazy at place it. and has, like, not been addressed since. It does. It gets addressed. It should be more than book three until we see it, though. Well, in a seven-part series... He dropped it? I, what? It was supposed to be ten. Fucking hell! I thought it was seven! He's gonna die before he finishes No, we've it. discussed this. He will not finish the series... And we're gonna have someone else step up to finish it for him like he did with Robert Jordan. He doesn't have a son, right? No, I, no, he has kids. He's One Mormon. of them better get good. Like, it's, real quick. They're Mormon. They've gotta follow them in the father's footsteps. At least the firstborn does. Yeah, actually the firstborn's kinda fucked. There we go. So the firstborn's kinda sitting there like, Dad, why are you doing this? He's like, shut up, son! This is his Shut up, future me. <laughs> He's You'll never be as good, He's gonna, just like your father. <laughs> He's gonna grow up to be a proxy for his dad. Yeah, it's just... such a horrible life, man. I hate legacy. I've gone on about that. You're more about standard. Yes, I'm. No, I'm not. I hate modern standard. Are both broken. It's whoever has the most money. Money, money, Sorry, money. Uh, Magic: The Gathering in any format other than limited is That's broken. Why limited is so great. It's the only yeah. the only time I have real god honest fun playing Magic anymore is when we do just like limited drafts or the pre releases or League. I fucking adore League. Mm -hmm. What is that for people who don't might not know? Um, so Magic: The Gathering is a thing for nerds. It's a card game. It's a card game. Not on motorcycles. It's an adult that is card not game. played on motorcycles. It's a shame. Um, it's really aggressive. If you ever play it, you get shout at people all the time. Oh yeah, friendships will be forged and broken. A lot of bad stuff. It's bad. Um, so standard is like the past X sets that have been released are in that rotation, and those are the that's a card base you have to build decks and play with. Modern is like the past everything, but with a ban list. It's up until uh, ten, or everything tenth edition and newer. Right. Uh, um, so since Magic has been a, like, it's standardized kind of. Yeah, it's basically Magic. But because old magic is weird as fuck, old magic didn't know how to write. <laughs> magic has a lot of problems. That's yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then, uh, God, what you call it? Legacy. Yeah, legacy. Is everything, is but with everything a big ban list ever. And then vintage of all time. is just legacy with a smaller ban list and a restricted list. It's yeah, and it's money. It's one, money. One, one, two, even in standard, uh, like modern is on average, I think, like a seven hundred dollar investment. Legacy it's is rough. about two grand, sixteen hundred to two grand. Standard is about uh, two hundred, three hundred, like one to two hundred right now. I don't care yeah. for standard. It's it's because in standard, it's always the same eight decks. That's what's played. That's what wins. The is reason I like modern is just like you know, it's gonna cost me a lot, but once I sink it, it's, it's there. Bands, and it can only be improved. Yeah, bands with standing. I don't but like modern thing. because of infinite combo. I don't like it's picking shit. Up. What people like Michael do. 
Oh yeah. There's a lot of infinite combo, but it, hey, there's no infinite combos were standard at one point. They all, almost every deck has a way to deal with it in some capacity. Mm, should there's no there's, infinite there's combo should. deck. I don't want to have to build be to be able no, it's to just stop sideboarding. infinite combo. You have like a hard game one, but then your game two is almost assured if you just get any of your sideboard hate. Oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll we could do an entire episode on deck teching. And, and then, so the thing, um, then what limited is, is within like a draft where, or sorry, a like you, um a sealed event because draft is technically different in Magic terms because Magic is stupid as shit. Um, it's everyone gets X number of packs and has to build a deck with them. And, and inside card packs, there's like ten cards each. It's and yeah, you're only you allowed the cards however that are many in commons, there. however many uncommons, a guaranteed rare, sometimes a second rare if it's like foil or something. And what it basically is is it puts everyone on the same playing field. And it's random just luck, of the luck draw. determines what you play, and you all just it's it's a fair fight, and it's just seeing what people build when they have limited options. That's my favorite way to play Magic. I think it's the most fair way to play Magic, and it's the most enjoyable way. It's just a really satisfying, feel-good way to do it. Standard and modern always makes me feel bad because of people like Michael. Yo! I mean, there was one set where you could have gotten an infinite... Con no, there's, been, there's always there's been a, few. a few. No, yeah. the, there's, but, uh, I have that standard deck that is... Kaladesh infinite. Aether Revolt, you yeah. could do uh, infinite combo in limited. Because if you, it would be a four Aether Revolt two Kaladash, or maybe three and three. And if you get Saheeli Rai and uh, Felidar Guardian, you could do your uh, Infinite Cats. Infinite Cats is fun? It's still a dick move. It is. I just... I don't want wizards to keep being stupid. No, you... Yeah. And they're never gonna not be stupid. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, it's just Wizards of the Coast makes bad decisions, and that's because they get money off of it. They get hella money. They can trade. They trade into bad decisions for money, and that's what they do most often than not. I miss when they would have set pre-release cards that all had alternate art. Oh yeah, those were the good days. I liked where you picked a color, you knew what you were probably gonna get, and it had a different art. That was fucking awesome. Old Magic was the best magic. Yeah. Theros Ravnica was a really good time to play magic. That was peak magic. Mm -hmm. Michael and I have discussed this. No, no, we've discussed this, and we've actually talked about maybe, like, just going through, buying a play set of every single card Yeah, we're, we're gonna redo, we're, like, you know, we do a sealed event every set. Mm -hmm. Michael and I, at some point, are going to pick up just RTR and Theros and do that. Like, the entire Theros like, magic, block. like... Return to Ravnica, put it up, and then, like, with Theros, it was, it was up here. Mm. Yeah. And then, what was it, cons after that? Cons mm. started to fall down. Zendikar, eh. So Everything else, like eh. A, sort of Nickel like... Bliolus. Block constructed, but with two blocks? Or are you thinking, like, cute? No, it's, it's gonna be Old a fucking standard. mess. It's gonna be the first part of uh, Ravnica with Theros, and then the second part of Ravnica with Born of the Gods... And then, like, the first part with Journey, with the second part, it's, it's, a, it's a huge thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's, like, freaky block constructed. Yes. Interesting. It's going to be hella fun. You should get in on it, but it's going to be, like, be $40 a piece. We, we did the math. Bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, wait, no, it was originally 90 but we cut it down to 40 That's not bad at all. But, no, that's just for one playset. set. Well, it's, it's a big event. That was for if we got the two boxes, right? Yeah. It was $90 a piece, and when we wanted to do more people, it was still gave, we were going to tack on a bunch more shit. Yeah, no. But in, in any case, God, I miss that. Yeah. That was, that was like, the best. Those good old days in the high schools where we had shit cards, but we all had those stupid decks. There's also a nostalgia thing coming in there. I, I can't deny there's some nostalgia aspect, but that aside, that was still peak magic. Nah. Today, magic is in. You know what else I is mean, peaking? Bitcoin. 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 We got the Winklevoss brothers, the first Bitcoin millionaires. Billionaires. 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 First Bitcoin billionaires. Be? Fuck them. God, I every time Bitcoin is in the news for surging, I'm sitting there, I should have bought it. I should buy it now. No. And then I don't. 
And then it goes up again. And now I think it's it is actually past the point. The, it is already the shark has been jumped. Bitcoin became publicly tradable today, or not today, uh, this past week. So it's going to be on the stock markets uh, or usable, some variation of it. But uh, now things are shaking way the fuck up, and the announcement shot it above eleven hundred dollars a Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, and the Winklevosses who. After they sued uh, Zuckerberg and made spent the money, eleven million dollars on Bitcoin. They spent in 2013. their eleven million of their like sixty million dollar settlement just buying uh, Bitcoin, and now it's worth you know over a billion dollars. It's insane. Uh, their amount, um, which drives me fucking nuts because it is the most no effort get rich quick thing possible did you put money and into i've just me? never yeah, done it's it. like it's basically stock investments i have friends that have been bitcoin mining since high school oh yeah they're, they're set i should have i wanted i was like oh i should spend 60 bucks get my uh my uh power port resoldered, and then just make my old gaming laptop mine Right. And I never sat down and actually did that because I was like, ah, you know, it's probably not worth it. And fuck me for ever thinking that. Yeah. That the is issue like four is, years missed out. Like, well, the issue is, like, mining is a competition. And if your computer doesn't solve the problem before someone else's does, you don't No, get it's it. a lot harder now. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's, it was really easy back then. Oh, yeah. I Six know. years it's, ago, if you were mining, you were just fucking in Oh, it. man. Well, you, you weren't could have ordered so many time. pizzas in Florida. <laughs> Oh god. Mm. Well, nowadays you can't you can't even get games with Bitcoin anymore. Yeah, Steam killed Bitcoin. They um, said temporarily until things kind of sit, but basically what would happen they is they were losing money. You'd be like, "Hey, I'm going to buy this game with Bitcoin." And then the next day Bitcoin would surge up or down, and then they had to either say, "Hey, it's not worth as much as it was yesterday. Give us more." Or, "Hey, that's not fair to you. Here's some money back." And every time you did that, you had to pay, like, the $20 Bitcoin transfer fee. Uh, so shit just kind of got stupid. Uh, so Steam is no longer accepting Bitcoin until things stabilize, which means never. Yeah. Um, and I think everyone's going to do the same. And that's why I think the shark has been jumped, is now that it's publicly tradable, now that it's going to be so fucking volatile, uh, more so than it was before, where it could jump from 200 to to 1000 in a year, I think... More places are actually going to bail on Bitcoin. As they should. Yeah. Once it's dead, it's going to be fine. It's... I've been waiting for a global cryptocurrency that everything is digital. Mm -hmm. And Bitcoin is not going to be it. It's going to be whatever Bitcoin's successor is. Yeah. I would agree on that. As much as I want to get rich on Bitcoin, and as much as I want to have always wanted to, it's I, I want to say it's too late. And then I can't wait, you know, a month from now when this statement bites me in the ass and it becomes worth three grand. But yeah, no, you've got to, like, you've made your decision and that's just, you don't have the money right now to... Stick by not doing it. Yeah. You'll hate yourself, but it's, uh, it's the right thing. It's the best choice for your money right now. Thinking about what I put $400 into at one point in high school and thinking about if I had bought Bitcoin, that haunts me. What did you put four hundred dollars in? Oh, magic easy. My first God when I it, first man. had my job, and I was like, I have, I can spend money on anything. Um, I was just like, I want to get into this, and whatever. So at like eighty bucks a box, I bought three booster boxes of uh, or one each of, uh, Return to Ravnica, Dragon's Maze, and that middle one that I always forget. Whatever one was in the middle of those two things. I Seems would, fun. Um, but that's like 240 right there. If I just bought as much Bitcoin as $240 would get me, I'd have a pretty nice yeah, little amount be, right now. Yeah, you'd be nice and set up right now. I mean, like, but back in high hand. school, there was one person in particular that I remember that was, like, constantly going off about Bitcoin and how many Bitcoins he's got and how he's mining Bitcoins. And he had, like, 11 Bitcoins in 2013. And now I'm just like pissed with this person. Yeah. All well, the people no, no, I no, know. No, 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 because the worst thing he did was he converted some of his Bitcoins into Dogecoins. <laughs> I oh love God. Dogecoin. 
Oh man. I think Anybody part of what annoys make money. me is all the people that I know who have Bitcoin money are people I don't want to have success. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly my point. It's just this guy was such a dickhead. Except maybe the Winklevosses. I'm impartial on them. I do not care about it. I don't use Facebook. I yeah, have they no can do preference. whatever. I don't really care. Especially if I just put Army Hammer's face on them, then I'm like, you know, oh, yeah, I, it I, works can, way I better. can live with them. They can have money. Both Army Hammers can have money. I like two Army Hammers. But yeah, no, I don't know. Fuck Bitcoin. Fuck Ubisoft. <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck Bitcoin. Fuck yeah. Fuck Bethesda. We had some good news this week. What was it? There was some bummer news, which was, uh, you know, fuck Bitcoin. I could have sworn I remembered there being a significant piece of good news. Oh, yeah! What good news? That's the good news. Vine 2! Vine 2! Woo! Is coming Humanity back, Humanity restored. Uh, 2018 sometime. I don't know if there was, like, an official... I haven't followed it as much as I did when just that tweet came across my feed. Right. But, uh, yeah, no, um, ex-CEO, owner, creator, uh, Dom Hoffman just tweets a picture, V2, and it's just the Vine logo, but V2, and, uh, everyone collectively just shit themselves Why did he sell the, out to Yahoo world. again? I Money? don't remember. Money. Money? It was And why was it lot. Yahoo killed it? Um, I think it had something to do with the business model. Um, they were they were overpaying too much their on content ads. creators. I, I think yeah, they were spending too much on their ads, but I think they were overpaying the creators, uh, like the opposite of YouTube, and they were yeah. like I'm talking like way over, like ten times like, YouTube peak profits. You, you would go in. You would go in, and you'd be like, I would like to make a shit ton of money, okay, get, like, X views, and like, okay, I got X views, okay, just consistently do stuff, here's $2,000. Yeah, the payout on Vine was real. Damn. Um, and I think that was a big part of it, because there was no denying it was successful. It, oh, yeah. It had the largest number of viewers that anyone, and creators that anyone could really imagine it getting. And, uh, an online ID. but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's back. I'm happy. Everything's going to be good again. Some people hopefully won't get the message and, uh, you know, won't go back, but some of them hopefully will get the message and will go back. I hope they do. I mean, there are people, I mean, a lot of the shitty ones, um, like Josh Peck and, uh, I just hate them. Some other people, they yeah. still do ads on like Twitter in Vine style. Yeah. And they're god awful. They're just really bad. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm liking to see a, some uh, other people come back to it. You yeah. know what I want to see come back? Hmm. Grapes. It's like Vine, but one second. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, get. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just Wait, well, did you say the grapist? Yes, <laughs> but only one you second. You can say that. I'm a grape, yo! Yeah. You tie like, your yeah. parents to the radiator and grape them for years and years and years. Paul marketing. Paul marketing. You know, I think that Paul marketing was the reason why Vine failed. Very likely. I don't know. Somebody died. I blame Vine. the communists. I blame Paul. But yeah, Paul's just... probably a communist. <laughs> this time around, it's probably Everybody not deserves the same amount of money. Our content creators will get the paid the same as our CEO. <laughs> God. Yeah, that that's kind of... <laughs> yeah, no, communist. I mean, Vine was no, communist. The dead Nintendo president. Oh, yeah. He did that. Cool Nint guy. So, Nintendo's communist. Vine's communist. But, yeah, no, so New Vine, probably not going to have the mad payouts, but it's going to have the quality. And, uh, I'm Where excited see, as fuck. Because, you know, obviously, um, we're... Millennials are a bunch of sad, depressed fucks. Gen X, I think is their name. The next the yeah. ones below us. They're fucked up. They're way fucked up. I can't wait to see the vines they make, man. Because they're, <laughs> they're on another level. Like, yeah, we... we we'll escape them in the cloud. 
<laughs> like, yeah, I know. Millennials are sad and, like, we're realistic. We understand, like, where the world is and how everything's fucked and but the like, economy or whatever. Thing has, but like, then, like, like, the kids say stuff these like... These kids are fucking next level. <laughs> like Holy and subscribe shit. to when they go to sleep because they've heard that so much they think that's how you say goodbye. Oh, shut like up. And like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Some black bearer bullshit. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, no, um, no, like, literally, the younger generation's turning into, like, a Black Mirror episode because, fucking hell, they don't stop watching videos. A guy came into my workplace, and he was walking around with an iPad, just constantly walking videos, per perusing our store, and they didn't have headphones, and he was just blaring this shit into the wild. You know how many YouTuber middle schoolers come through my store? I, the amount of times in one week I've been told, hey... I'm a YouTuber, I'm making a video. It's like, why are you telling me this, eight-year-old? Get out. Go do your thing. People reaction to me being successful. <laughs> get Target out. hater tells me Target to get out. Target employee molests me. <laughs> God, Did yeah. I almost die at Target? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hate True YouTube. story, not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite title. <laughs> it's a weird amount of, like... Yeah, that age group, like Gen Xers, just with their camera phones going around with recording. Their camera phones. With their, with their camera music. phones and their shoot bangs. And their K pops. But yeah, God, I love their K pops. It's weird to see what the age of corn. Entry I love is corn pops. For content creation now. Yeah, I, I did join Gen X, though, guys. I left. <laughs> um, the millennial side, it's weak. I'm a They've kid got now. corn pops. Do they? Because... No, he was saying they have K-pop. Just corn K pops not weren't seen. that good. Corn pops suck. I'll say it. Uh -huh. I'm not afraid. You should be. General Mills breaks through the window. <laughs> what? General Mills is a punk bitch. General Mills is just gonna walk... You're gonna be at Target. It's just this old man's gonna walk into the back room and, like, set their hand on your face and just see suffer me now. No, see, no. I'd be scared of Kellogg's. I ain't scared of no General Mills. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, no. Kellogg's is gonna walk in, put the hand on the face, and just shout, suffer me now. I will. I'll suffer a lot of Kellogg's. You're gonna just be like, hey... Connor, the uh, the General Mills vendor is here. We don't have a General Mills vendor. And, and it's just, just some, like, a ghost, ghost of a man. Like, <laughs> like an actual Connor. fucking apparition. <laughs> Screaming, oh, <God>. Corn Pops! <laughs> <laughs> just like, slightly floating off the ground, hand extended, Corn Pops! Zips <laughs> towards you, all sinister style. You can't outrun that. Can't outrun the ghost of Corn Pops. You could probably, I don't know, you might be able to outrun it, but... You can't outfloat it. It'll like, catch it, you in the cloud. You can outrun yeah. it, but he can just go through anything, so you can't, like, outmaneuver him. <laughs> you can't juke him. Whack. Yeah. No, man, I... Fine Tooth's gonna be great. I can't wait. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be a lot of jank shit in there. I can't I'm wait. actually surprised. Pro ZD he... is gonna be phenomenal again. Because Pro ZD is still doing all the same shit, but now he'll have a better platform to do it. Because YouTube fucks him, and well, like honestly, Instagram like, isn't worthwhile. All, almost all of the people who went from Vine to YouTube, it just is not good. No, it's actually what stopped a lot of them is because of just how bad YouTube is. Oh yeah. Brody ZD occasionally does some things and pros. No, like he still he still makes videos regularly and he'll post them there, but he constantly complains like, "Hey, YouTube won't give me any money." I put him on Instagram and you know obviously he doesn't get anything. But I just I can't wait. It's gonna be fucking amazing. I just thought he sold the rights. Mhm. Mm no, he uh straight up ditched it. <laughs> but he's back now. And he sold it to uh, Twitter. Does yeah. Yahoo own Twitter? Hmm? Do they? I don't know. Cause it, I, I maybe. I, I, I all as far Is as that I why assume, still like exists. Tumblr and fucking okay Google. YouTube. Who is Twitter? <laughs> who owns it? Damn it! It didn't trigger your phone. No, I've got uh, voice recognition. Oh hey. He knows me. Google, show me them anime titties. Okay, Google. Who owns Twitter? Put it up to the mic so everyone can hear. 
well-known Twitter investor Steve Ballmer, the former Microsoft CEO who owns the Los Angeles Clippers. She's reading a huge fucking thing. The list of She's going to be going for a while. Los Angeles the Clippers. Saudi Prince Alawid bin Talal now owns a majority. Oh, wait, no, it's, yeah, because it's, uh, it's publicly traded. Who runs Twitter? Who's the CEO? Okay, Jack Google. Or something like that. Who owns Vine? So yeah, he sold it to Twitter, specifically Twitter, for thirty million. Yeah, so Jack Dorsey is the CEO of Twitter. So Twitter was, yeah, he sold it to Twitter, and I guess Twitter owns themselves somehow. Well, being a publicly traded, traded company, company and now Saudi Arabian prince owns the majority of Twitter. <laughs> Man, it... like why? Hmm. What's going on? Again, like it's oil baronesses are just buying stuff up for their kids. <laughs> Okay, Google. Who's Alawid bin Talaj? No, there's none of that. No, uh That's not all the names. <laughs> Can I said that right, like? Or Talal. But it fucked up the Alawid. Alawid. Alawid bin Talal. I just want to know who owns Zika. How are there Saudi princes? They don't have a fucking dictator or uh, monarchy. How can you be a prince? It's just an obligatory title. No, it's Let's like go you to buy, Saudi Arabia. No, 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 no. Like, So, it's no longer a monarchy, but there's still princedoms. Like England. There's princes, but they're a uh, but they're not parliamentary, in line for the throne. whatever. They so have a queen, still but it serves dumps. no purpose. Well, it's little to no purpose. Queen still has mm, some power. She has cultural influence. She does. She has a lot of that. She wields it sometimes. But you guys gotta remember that the people who own land have to report to the princedoms because those lands were granted by the princes, not by the governments. And the princes work directly underneath the governments. Government's fake. I mean, I've read The Way of Kings. I know how these princedom things work. Hey, everyone, go read The Way of Kings. Yeah, you should go and buy all three books from the Stormlight Archives. You can now. And then the entirety of the Mistborns. Because there are three. That's No, man, there are we... There's like six Mistborn. Six, soon to be seven books. Oh, like within, yeah. Because there's the three books, and there's and then there's yeah, untold or whatever. Yeah, there's like three or four supplementaries to it. Well, and Arcanum's you gotta got get, the um, two side books in there. There's only two, so there's five right now, I guess, if you include like the two short short story books. You gotta pick up White Sands Visual Novel for Words of Radiance. You gotta just pick up books. Pick up a shit ton of. Go books. to Barnes and Noble. If you see, go to the fantasy section. Look for Sandin, Sanderson, and then go look for Brandon's for last name Sanderson, first name Brandon. Buy everything. Last name Sanderson, first name Brandon. It's a pretty Mormon name. He's hella Mormon. Well, that is all the time that we have. Is it this week? Mm -hmm. we will, I need to talk more about my political opinions. We'll catch you next week with political opinions. Vine 2 is going to murder senators. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, be very hopeful for episode 34 of the Moisty Voice next week. Sexually charged and fully awake. No more sex. No more sex in the Moisty Voice. Illegal.